in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, as we study your word this morning, we pray that you teach us by yourself. Amen. Grant us understanding from above and let your name be glorified. Lord, we worship you this morning. Glory be to your name forevermore. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. Please be seated. Thank you, choir. God bless you. In Jesus' name. This morning, we are going to continue with our Sunday school. And hopefully, we will be rounding off the Sunday school study this morning. Um, last Sunday, as you will agree with me, the Lord led us in the way He wanted. And so we could not take the Sunday school. But by the God's mercy this morning, I'm hoping that we'll be able to make some concluding remarks. If this is all we are able to do today and we are not able to take the message, so be it. And if God gives us grace to share one or two things from the message, so be it. I also want to say that next Sunday, this is the announcement we are supposed to have made last week, but it's not too late. Shebi, we have been coming to Sunday school all this while. So at the end of the time, what should we do? We should do exam, exactly. So we are going to have our test next week. And it was a, a, a meeting, two different meetings. The two people gave a similar prophecy. And because those people were not among the so-called known, nobody took them serious in December. I wish... We had all been attentive. We had heard God and we have taken a decision that what the enemy is planning for 2020, we refuse to let it stand. Do you think I will hear our prayer? We will. I hope you know. That's why I said it was almost too late. That the plan for Africa generally was that there will be dead bodies on the street. Did you hear that? Why did we now wake up that time? But the Bible said that when they made the law, that nobody should pray to any other God, apart from Nebuchadnezzar, what did Brother Daniel do? The same day. Who will tell us? Somebody. Please give microphone to Ms. Obunero. Hallelujah. Continue in his own way of prayer. He now went to his room. He opens the window so that they can hear. Probably they can see that he is still praying to his own God, not the man-made God. Praise God. The moment they made that law, the Bible said he went to his house. He opened his window. Maybe before that, he was just praying and he was not even opening his window. He was just having quiet communion with God. But the moment they made that law, the Bible said he went to his house, he opened his window and prayed as his custom was. Maybe he was praying three times a day, he did not change it. If fair, can you please make a comment on that passage, that paragraph? Diligence here entails the pursuit of excellence in our various vocations and workplaces as artisans, professionals, public servants, preachers, and pastors, businessmen and women, students, and so on. Are you making a good impact in your own fine yard? Praise God. 
um, from that paragraph and from Proverbs 22. If you read that Proverbs 22, verse 29 in NLT, it replaces that diligence with competence. Okay. So in order to make a difference, we have to, in our places of assignment, we have to be hardworking. We have to be competent or skillful at that which it is we are doing. So for instance, as a teacher, to make a difference, to make impact in the lives of students, you have to be competent as a teacher. You have to be skillful. And then you have to be hardworking. Praise God. Praise God. Bokola, you want to say something? Let us understand this one thing. What the scripture says is the final thing. And if you, as a child of God, if you still, if you still want to depend on the God of your pastor, you are in trouble. If you don't know God by yourself, personally, because God said, every flesh will know me. Whether you are a child or you are an adult, please, the most important thing is for you to have a personal relationship with God. The most important thing is for you to do what? Have a personal relationship with God. You should know the God that you serve. Paul at a point in his life said, I know whom I have believed. Do you know the person that you have believed? Do you truly believe him? Do you agree with what he said? That he has made you a thought to your head and a light to your word. Shall we pray?